Here's a 1958 Chevrolet Impala. Obviously a tribute to one of the more iconic movie cars. Out of American Graffiti. When the American Graffiti movie was made, the 58 was one of them that was picked out and it was taken, painted appliance white, and then frosted in the red around all the body lines, just like this one has had done to it. Steel wheels were thrown on. And of course, when you get around to the tail end, it'll have those iconic 1959 Cadillac taillights that they put on it. This particular one, powered by a small block Chevy under the hood, power steering, power brakes. A little more trivia for you about American Graffiti. One of the reasons the person that was in charge of picking out the cars for the show picked it was because of the tucked and rolled interior. And you don't see it a lot in the movie, but if you were to look at that movie car, check out the interior, it is pretty much identical to this. Did a real nice job mimicking the interior on this car. This particular one does have an automatic transmission on the floor. Bench seat up front. Come around to the back and check out those tail lights. Out of all the American Graffiti cars, when it was done, the 32, the Tri-5s, the 51 Merc, out of all those cars before the movie was even released, the cars were advertised for sale. The only car out of all of them that sold was the 1958 Impala. How'd you, been, how'd you like to have been the lucky one that happened to pick that up back in the day? Again, this is a tribute to that car. Very nice running driving vehicle, and it, it has the look. You take this to any show, any roll-in, just out for a cruise, it's, like I said, very iconic. Take a look at this sticker even in the back window. Isn't that great? Go ahead and start this up. It has the shave, shave door handles, obviously. And once again, that was uh, the same as the movie car that this is a tribute to. There is an automatic swipe, a little electronic magnet on the key tag. You can run up by the windshield that will pop that door from the outside if the window's open. I can actually show you here after I have it running. Go ahead and fire it up. Car starts very easily, runs smooth. Even have the fuzzy white dice, padded dash. Get a chance to watch the movie sometime, check it out. Even has that sound to it. Slip around to the back so you can hear this. Nice little rumble to it. Kind of what you'd expect. To me, when you hear him cruising in the movie and you're on this car driving it down the road, pretty close. If you'd like to check out the underside picks of this, interior picks, trunk, engine bay, unique classic cars is where you can check it out at. That'd be our website with all the still picks. I'm going to turn it off a second so I can get that key. And I'll show you how this door works. See how nicely it closes too. Fit. You know, this car is very nice. On the uh, tag here, there's a, obviously an actuator that's set off by that magnet right there when you're on the key tag on there. So that is how you would open the doors. And you just pull the door open as you're on that actuator on it. If you'd like to know more, please feel free to give us a call. We can be reached at 507-386-1726. Or like I said, check out uh, the underside picks, engine bay, interior, and I'll be checked out at uniqueclassiccars.com. Tribute to the American Graffiti 1958 Chevrolet Impala.